No. Snack fell down. Snack. A huge thanks to my Patreon supporters for making this episode possible. Good morning, fellow mathematicians. Welcome back to... No. Snack fell down. Snack. Someone did a nice meme in the comments recently. He, he said that my standardess is good and snack. <laughs> it, was, it was a great one. Really had me a loving, loving. Oh, snack, my boy. Uh, I can't wait to bring snack merch out at some point. I just need to find an artist who can bring a snack to the shirts. We are going to um, see what the derivative of x to the y equals y to the x is. And we would like to um, put y with respect to x. So we are just going to assume that we can, for example, make use of the implicit function theorem to turn this into an explicit function, uh, implicit function, I'm, I'm terribly sorry, in some way. So implicit function theorem just with respect to y that we can separate it. And now we are just going to differentiate this thing, not, not going to care about any restrictions at the moment. We are just going to do this. Someone asked it down there in the comments when I did the video on x to the y being equal to y to the x, then we separated for y and that was Gucci or for x, I don't care. It's really pretty much symmetric. And yeah, let us dive right in. So we are going to take a look at d, dx of x to the y being equal to y to the x. Now, I would like to rewrite this expression on the left and right hand side using e to the natural log something because a, number a is nothing but e to the natural log of a, it's an equivalent formulation. So this ddx goes over the whole equation, all right? So that means um, that we are going to take a look at ddx of e to the natural log of x to the y, but we can make use of natural log property to, to bring the y to the front. So y times the natural log of x being equal to, and the same spiel here, just with x and y interchanged. x times the natural log of y. Now we can start differentiating both sides and see what we actually get. So let us take a look. Um, if we differentiate both sides, then that means our exponential function is going to be preserved on each and every side. But the exponential function here is nothing but either x to the y or y to the x. Meaning overall, we are going to get, okay, um, x to the y on the side, it's going to be preserved, times the derivative of the inner thing. Okay, just using chain rule here. Derivative of y times log of x. I'm going to write it out. So d dx of y times natural log of x. And the same spiel on the other side. So this is going to be preserved. y to the x power times the derivative d dx of um, x times the log of y. Now we can start differentiating. Now we can make use of the product rule for each and every part. And then we are basically done. Then we just need to, yeah, then we just need to separate both ends. So this is going to be x to the y times. Differentiating this, okay, differentiating the log of x with respect to x is going to be one over x. So y over x overall. And then plus, now we are going to differentiate y with respect to x. It's just going to be y prime and the log of x is going to be preserved. So y prime times the log of x. Being equal to y to the x is going to be preserved times. And now we are going to differentiate this. It's going to be not as symmetric as before. Now, differentiating x is just going to be this part, okay, differentiating x is 1, so log of y is going to be preserved, the natural log. Logarithmus naturalis, the natürliche logarithmus, my lieben Freunde. And then we're going to differentiate log of y and we're going to let the x be where it is. So differentiating log of y, at first we need to make use of the differential of the logarithm is 1 over y. And also then times the inner derivative, we are going to make use of the chain rule because y is with respect to x is going to be just y prime. So y prime over y. Now we have a lot of stuff here. Let us write everything out and let's see what we are going to get. Now, we're going to distribute x to the y into everything. So this leaves us with x to the y minus 1, because this is x to the negative 1, times y plus 
y prime log of x times x to the y being equal to y to the x times the log of y and then plus y prime I'm going to put it like this then we are going to have x times y to the x minus 1 of power x times y to the x minus 1 of power yeah this is it basically now we are going to bring for example this to this side and this to this side then we are going to factor out y prime and then we are going to be basically done with everything so on the right hand side for example we are going to have y prime times this is going to be x to the y of power log of x and then we are going to bring this to this side I really don't give a damn so this is going to give us um, minus x times y to the x minus 1 being equal to okay y to the x times log of y it's going to be preserved it's going to stay here now we're going to bring this to the other side giving us x to the y minus 1 so negative x to the y minus 1 times y now we are just going to um, divide both sides by this part under the condition that's not equal to zero then you can take a look at the differentiability of this thing overall leaving us with y prime after being separated being equal to y to the x power log of y minus x to the y minus 1 times y over x to the y log of x minus x or let's put it like this y to the x minus 1 times x and now it's nice and symmetric kind of yet again so the numerator is just the denominator with the x and y swapped and and this is kind of beautiful in my opinion looks pretty good and there's one more interesting um, observation you could take now you might ask yourself what the hell y actually is so this thing is just a differential equation and the solution to this thing should it should be what we have found out for y because y the last time was nothing but uh, negative x over log of x if I'm not mistaken times the Lambert W function of negative log of x over x if you substitute this into here it's going to be a big freaking mess but it's going to be the solution to this differential e equation and the real derivative I hope I am right on this it I tried to check but it's going to be a real mess you can also try to differentiate this thing in itself and then see if it works out you can leave your comments down there and, and your opinions down there in the comments I would be glad to read through all of this this time I actually wrote everything pretty nicely nice and readable what is up today I don't know thank you guys for watching never mind if you didn't enjoy this video please like subscribe and comment channel if you like don't forget to check out the t-shirts I got a new website Check it out, alright? Papaflemme.engineer. Also, check out the second channel. A new series is going to start tomorrow. It's going to be exciting. I'm until next video. I wish you guys flamble day. Ciao. Doeg.